this is just a quick update on modifications to my woodland mill sawmill and a wood miser addition. This sawdust deflection system has evolved. I didn't like the fact that sawdust that makes its way through here gets pinched between the blade and the drive belt and comes out stuck to here. It's a bane in the butt to clean when it comes time to sharpen your blades. First, I put a metal scraper to catch the sawdust before it went through the guides. And uh, all that did was lift the sawdust, throw it right into the wheelhouse, right back on the blade to get pinched under the belt. So I rigged up this plastic contraption, which kept almost all of the sawdust out of the wheelhouse. So it all piled up here and almost none went out to shoot. So eventually I cut, um, cut it out under here a little bit because anything that goes out under the blade goes out to shoot, it doesn't matter. But this metal scraper, which started out in my mind as a sawdust deflector, did a remarkable job of keeping the blade clean by putting gentle pressure on it and scraping it as I used it. Also, in the event of over lubrication, this scoops up all that and throws that off too. So you can't over lubricate in terms of floating the blade off the drive wheel. The drawback to this was it's very cheap metal. It's a uh, it's enameled metal. It was part of the lid to a barbecue grill. I needed something a little springier. And just before I broke my first blade, no idea why, I made a new scraper out of a bow saw blade. But that was too stiff. Even with heat, I couldn't get it to bend tight enough. Because there's very little clearance here. This has to be a very tight bend to stay above the blade and just touching the blade. I don't know exactly when it occurred to me that the scraper doesn't have to be there. It's there because it started life as a sawdust deflector. But as a blade scraper, it can be anywhere. And over here, the blade guides are different position from here. On my extension, the blade rides very low in the guides, so there's a lot of room between here and here. And I can make a scraper out of my broken sawmill blade, bend it enough, and get it bolted in here so it touches enough to scrape everything off the blade, but not so tight that it deflects the blade. When I first got it in there, it was too tight, and it wasn't a problem here. But out here, it had much more room to work with, and it depressed the blade into the bottom guide. So it took some adjustment to get it to the point where the blade guides stay exactly the same 20 thousandths from the blade here as here, yet there's still a little bit of pressure here. So now I have the best of both worlds. I have a spring steel scraper clear back here. And over here, I have the, scra the uh, scraper, the sawdust deflector. I shortened it considerably because when it was clear out to here, it would bump into cans or logs and get pried up. I made it short enough that it shouldn't be a problem. So now my blade stays clean, sawdust stays out of between the blade and the uh, the drive belt. It all works smoothly. One more thing I did here. This blade guard being round, it's possible for it to ride over the uh, log stop in some positions. You either have to have this very low or run the risk of bouncing this over a blade stop and hitting the blade anyway. So I flattened this and flattened a little bit of the bottom, but that wasn't really necessary. So now I have a square edge to hit the log stops. It either misses completely or it stops the sawmill 
and I can have it set just above the blade and have it be effective. So that's the mod to my mod, my slight alteration of the blade guard. And now comes the wood miser modification or addition. I watch a channel called The Old Man and the Saw, as much for the humor as for the sawmill. That man runs a Woodmiser LT40, and I couldn't help but notice his quarter scale. The Woodland Mills quarter scale, which is buried under this, I can't show it to you. This is stuck on now. Allows you to cut four quarter boards, but no variations. This one, four, five, six, or eight quarters are all right here. I thought, I want one of those. I went to the Woodmiser website, could not find it in accessories. So I went to the LT40 manual and looked up the part number. That's it right there. You can't order this on the Woodmiser website unless you have a Woodmiser mill, because the first thing you have to enter in your order is your serial number. So I called them on the telephone, explained the situation, told them I loved their quarter scale. It's part number S11774. We'll get you this. So now I can cut quarters. I'm cutting four quarters. It's there. I'm cutting six quarters. Six quarter there. Come down to the next mark. Another six quarter. Another six quarter all the way to the bottom of your camp. So, why every sawmill does not have this type of quarter scale, I do not know. But Woodmiser does, and now I do too. So that's it for this quick clip. Latest, up, up, blah, 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 blah. Latest updates on my sawmill modifications. I hope this gives you some ideas on how to improve your sawmill. Or maybe you like it just the way it came out of the box. Thanks for watching.